Welcome to the third installment of our Incrementality Explainer video series. In the first video, we explained exactly what incrementality is, and I'll keep saying it. Incrementality equals testing. Last week, we talked about three ways that marketers can conduct their own incrementality tests. If you missed those, I highly recommend you check them out. This week, it makes sense that we focus on how marketers use incrementality testing. I'll talk about three ways marketers use tests, each of which builds on the previous as marketers get more and more sophisticated in their incrementality practice. The first is validation. The second is as part of an ongoing experimental learning agenda. And the third is as a core component of an incrementality-based attribution practice. So let's start with the first, validation. In fact, just about every incrementality test is used in some way for validation. Incrementality test results performed for a media channel or a tactic validate the incremental lift, the contribution to sales, the incremental efficiency like CPO or ROAS, and whether those metrics are meeting or exceeding targets. The second way marketers use incrementality testing is as part of a broader experimental learning agenda. This takes the idea of incrementality testing and builds it into a program, one that includes quarterly planning and uses testing to answer key strategic questions, as well as to build on testing that's been done in previous quarters. It's an important step for marketers who want to evolve from one-off incrementality testing for validation into a continuous testing and learn, test and learn practice. The third and most sophisticated way that marketers use incrementality testing is as a key cornerstone of their attribution and decisioning practice. No matter how your brand is attribu doing attribution, whether it be marketing mix modeling, multi-touch attribution, or any other approach, if you aren't using regular and systematic incrementality testing to directly calibrate your models, then you're not attributing and therefore you're not optimizing your media spend based on incrementality. This also allows your attribution to quickly adapt to changes, whether they're driven by seasonality, changes to the brand or product, media strategy, or environmental factors outside of your control, like iOS 14.5. So how do marketers use incrementality tests? First, to validate their media spend. Second, to build an experimental learning program. And finally, as a key cornerstone of their attribution practice. If there's one takeaway from today, it's this. If you aren't actively informing your attribution and media optimization with regular and systematic incrementality testing, then you don't have a best-in-class attribution practice.